My name is Lucas Gilman. I'm an adventure photographer and filmmaker. Uh, we're in Iceland uh, touring around shooting surfing and kayaking uh, and just exploring the, the amazing uh, landscape that, that Iceland is. This is one of my favorite places on the planet, honestly. Beautiful landscapes, magical spires in the ocean. You see everything from the velvety green grass uh, to these like jagged rocks, to blue skies, to moving water, and uh, pretty much every, every texture and color you can think of. It's, it's like something out of a fairy tale. All these things just make for a phenomenal palette to start with, and I, my photography, I start with the background first. I specialize in what I call, in this sort of funny sense, um, big landscape, little person. And there's a fine line between that, that person being a, an element and being too small or too, too large. I like places that are, are a little further off the beaten path and that are not simple. To have that, that, that surfer who may only be 15% of the total frame, very small in a very large field, and have somebody look at this, this sunrise and be like, oh wow, what a beautiful sunrise, what a beautiful place, and then be like, is that a surfer? Oh wow, and then they look closer and it's, he's so sharp. You see, you see the smile on his face, you see every droplet of water falling off of his board. And to me, it's kind of like selling the dream, right? I want people to look at my images and be like, I want to be there, I want to be in that spot. Our eyes see millions of millions of colors, millions of textures. You know, we see all kinds of depth of field. I want my images to sing with those those um, nuances as well. Uh, I want to show exactly how I saw it. So we just got here. We're outside of Vic, Iceland, and we're shooting a time lapse with the D810 uh, the exposure smoothing. And, but the main purpose of today is to go out and shoot tight action stuff, uh, but to maximize what we, what we get because it's a very short window. Uh, the sun comes up, beautiful light. We've got great sets of waves rolling in. I'm just really excited about what we can produce in a really short amount of time. Rock and roll, Eric. And the light's phenomenal. Yeah, the light's great. So. Yeah. what happens when uh, the wave closes out on you and you, you have to bail out. With the wind like that, it looks like Frogman flying off the top. <laughs> I hate to laugh. Surfing in Iceland is amazing. You're always by yourself and so the solitude and, and when you catch a wave and you're in that moment, it's a very slow, surreal situation of just floating across water and then you're surrounded in this landscape and you're by yourself in this and look, just the feeling is, it's, uh, it's poetic. Wherever I go in the world, I try to take something away that really is, um, can sum it up in one frame. And Iceland is really known for the, the Icelandic horses. And I've, I've been looking for this sort of perfect scene and we sort of just happened upon it as we're driving down one of the three roads in Iceland. Right now we're parked on the side of the road in Iceland and we're going to be hiking up into that canyon where we found some good waterfalls to run. It's good dude. It's not bad for a day job. The weather's starting to come in but we found this amazing waterfall and we've been using the D810 uh, shooting uh, two cameras, sinks and it's been amazing uh, shooting five frames a second perfect because it allows me to look and to in the edit pull out that decisive moment that in that sequence where joel had the perfect body position his kayak is the perfect spot on the waterfall and it gives me a lot of options and we've been getting some absolutely amazing shots i stepped off the edge and launched into the air and that was just kind of the cherry on top of the whole experience is just like this moment of 
Ah, like what an incredible place. In the moment, I was like, this looks perfect. And then seeing the images, that image captured, you know, how crazy it felt. I'm not only a photographer, but I'm a storyteller. And that's where the film comes in. To be able to go out and shoot uh, 36 megapixel stills and then flip right over and shoot 60p and start shooting slow motion video on the same camera, have that amazing video to go back, uh, shows the whole story. A kayaker going off a waterfall in slow motion and see his expression, see how he, he impacts the water. Um, I think that's just really a game changer. Photography is, is about capturing what, what's in front of you at that very moment. You're always trying to put yourself in the best possible situation to succeed. I feel like the more, the more you go out and the more you struggle to, to make these images, uh, the more rewarding they are in the long run. These trips, sometimes they're 10 days, sometimes they're a month long, and there's really like seriously moments out of all of those trips. Um, it could be a, a few seconds or a few minutes where everything comes together. That perfect moment, that intersection of beautiful light, uh, the action, and you have to be ready. I feel like that really shows through uh, in my photography uh, that, that it's not just, uh, it's not a snapshot. So we're at the glass here yesterday uh, Joel's paddling around and there's these icebergs and it's this beautiful scene and all of a sudden these seals pop up and it's something that you couldn't you couldn't script. Things like this, um, being able to travel light and fast, being able to have a camera that's super easy that really allow us to, to produce things that are that are unexpected and, and really magical. It was instantly apparent uh, that this new camera, the D810, was was something special. And you look at the image and you can, it's almost like you can feel the wind on your face. You can, you can feel the sun um, on your back and you can see every ripple, every texture, every nuance. And there's just something magical about that. And being able to, to show that in one single frame is unheard of.